Welcome back to Soarbox. We've been started talking this week about good works. Our verse for today is from Ephesians 2.10 and it says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2.10 you know, God created us. He designed each of us unique, as He willed to do. He didn't create us exactly the same or for the exact same purpose. We are His workmanship. In other words, He is the potter and we're the clay. There's no need to compare myself with someone else. God created work specifically for you and for me to do. He made you just right. Only you can do what God designed you to do. We all have purpose. We all have value. And we all have something to give. You know, this ought to cause us to be excited, to be hopeful, to be expectant. Jesus has plans for us. You know, we're going to do works. The question is, whose works will we do? Are we going to do God's works or are we going to do the devil's works? You may say, that sounds kind of extreme. I'm just doing my own thing. But listen to what Ephesians 2 verse 1 says. In which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience. And if you're not following Jesus Christ, you are a son of disobedience. And you are being controlled, manipulated, deceived by the prince of the power of the air. It's black and white. There's no middle ground. We're either following Christ or we're rejecting Christ. Our works are either going to be shown one day to be evil because we didn't follow Christ, or they're going to be good works because we follow Christ and allowed His Holy Spirit to work through us. So I hope you keep this in mind as you begin, as you continue to listen to our messages this week. And remember, we are God's workmanship, and He created us for good works. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in to Sword Pop.